We're moving on to stocks, ladies and gentlemen. If you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to my channel, his channel. Links are in the video description. And anytime you've got stock questions or TV show questions, hit us both on Instagram, send me a message. Now, me and Larry missed an IPO that could have made us a couple of percentages of money today. Um, There's um, an online store called Shopify that's trading at $1,000 right now. Well, their competitor went IPO today and it soared up there. Let me let you guys take a look at this. We'll break it down to finish this video. Talk a little bit about the business. We've been describing it in a shorthand fashion as uh, being a competitor to Shopify. Of course, a now $130 billion market cap company. Um, is that an app description? What is the, the distinctions between what you do in terms of uh, producing online marketplaces and what they do? Yeah, we're BitCommerce is a software platform used by 60,000 businesses around the world to create beautiful, successful e-commerce stores. We're a software as a service platform like them. We're the two biggest in the world. BitCommerce differentiates by having far more enterprise functionality built into it and being much more open and flexible. We allow our customers to configure every part of their e-commerce operations from the platform to payments, point of sale, fulfillment, shipping, marketing, to exactly their business requirements. And so we end up being a better fit for established companies, complex companies, uh, business to business and business to consumer selling. So more established companies, in other words, uh, less likely to be uh, the ideal fit for just a, you know, individual startup uh, that is merely getting going. Interestingly, uh, BigCommerce started as an SMB-centric platform like them. And over time, as our customers have grown, so has our focus on serving the mid-market and enterprise segments, including you know, 30 of the Forbes Global 2000 largest companies. Uh, Julia Borston here. I think it's really interesting how broad your assortment of partners are. Google, Amazon, eBay, but also Facebook and Instagram. We just heard a lot from Facebook and its earnings report about how important commerce for these small and medium-sized businesses are going to be for that platform. How important is it for you to have the social media piece of it to drive awareness of, of them trying to do e-commerce? Extremely important. Uh, BitCommerce has been a partner to Facebook and Instagram from the beginning of shops and e-commerce on those platforms. Many of our customers have found them to be among their most effective marketing channels, whether that is re-engaging existing customers or using their lookalike targeting capabilities. So we're big fans of what uh, Facebook and Instagram and social media in general can do for businesses trying to grow. Uh, Brandon, it might become a standard question here for companies that do come public in the traditional way, but I'm wondering if you considered, you know, merging with one of these SPACs, a special purpose acquisition company. I know that Tiger Global did uh, subscribe for a large portion of the IPO, but if if we see this stock soar in the debut and that's uh, what people refer to as money left on the table, was that a, a part of your thought process? Uh, Big Commerce did not consider the SPAC option. That's really best suited to companies who already have all the capital on the balance sheet that they need. We needed to raise money, in essence, to fuel our global expansion, further product investment, and so a traditional IPO was the better route for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So he put the stats up there, but I'm gonna show you what happened today. So the stock came online today. If you was part of the private group that could buy the stock early on, you could get it for $24. If not, you had to pay 65 when it came online at 9.30 a.m. But look at what it went up to. And this is me checking the stock at 1 p.m. And Larry said it made it all the way to $90. I missed that. But $93. 93 actually. You could have made all that money on the IPO today, which is why I always encourage people. I don't do day trades, but when I do do them, it's during an IPO or it's during and after an earnings call. But the reason why this type of stock is doing so well, based on what he was saying in the video, is because they're chasing their competitor, which is this company right here, Shopify. This is what they was trading simultaneously when I got the picture of the big commerce at $79. And so if you've ever been to my life gain store at shoplifegains.com, it's ran by Shopify. And big commerce, does the same thing for big business. Like you said, they do this for Facebook. 
They do this for Microsoft. They're doing it for UPS. They've got big ticket people on their dossier, which is why this is definitely a buy and hold situation for me, unless the stock takes a good 50% run in a day or two. But short of that, you see the potential you can have with this stock growing probably not $1,000 by next year, but for sure it'll be 150, maybe 200 by next year, which is why this gets a five-star rating from me to get some court balls in your court lane. What you think? I mean, I like it. I have to see. It's so hard to tell sometimes when you have a big competitor out there like, like Shopify because they do things to suffocate their competition, you know, but they, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem unreasonable to think that they could grow to, you know, $150, $200 a share, you know, because that's at that, at that, at that size, at that rate, it's not gonna, it's not gonna really touch Shopify to the point that Shopify is gonna say, we need to start doing something to, you know, to try and wipe them out. I think what, what really might happen is because Shopify is so big, it could be that once, you know, big commerce gets starts to creep up and get big enough. Shopify might just say, "Let's buy them." Possibly. Let's just buy them. Possibly. And I then, and then their stock is going to go through the roof. You know. <laughs> I mean, it might go through the roof now because the clientele they're catering to tends to be more affluent businesses. It's not me, you, and YouTubers. It's the companies that are facilitating social media who have got them to this dance. And right. this, this is definitely a good play. If you just want to get like 10 shares, five, six shares, and just sit on it and watch it grow, this is definitely my Wednesday call to make a play on them because I see them growing because we're not going to be out of this e-commerce stage ever, first of all. But secondly, right. it's even more amped up because of what's going on with coronavirus. So at the very least from now to around this time next year, People are going to be using more and more online commerce than what they've ever done. And even after we do get some issues worked out with Corona, online commerce is not going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's still going to continue to grow. So you can plant roots in this one and know that you're good to go for a very long time. I'll tell you one thing that I would like to see with with uh, with commerce happening right now is that, you know, I know that because of the way things are with with COVID and people not going to the malls and various stuff, I would really love to see a situation where you can go online mm -hmm. and shop at your favorite stores, and you can have you can pick out things that you want to see that you want to try on. So you could be on the you know you could be on their website and they have their inventories accurate, so you can say okay because the stores are closed, they don't have to worry about the the you know, the salespeople going and searching stuff down saying, well, it looks like we have, it says we have three of these in stock, but I'm only seeing two of them because one of them maybe is placed on some other rack. They know what their inventory is and you can shop. You can say, I want to see these jeans. I want to see this sweatshirt. I want to see these shoes. I want to see this dress. I want to see this, whatever. And then you can make an appointment to actually go to the store and try stuff on and see how you like it. And then buy it if you like it. And because you, you're making an appointment, you don't have to worry about the store being packed. You're going in there. They have masks. You have masks. You can practice social distancing. And it's all good. When you make your appointment, you make your appointment to go in there on a Friday at, at 6 o'clock after work. You go in. They say, you know, you know, uh, Mr. Dortch, your, your dressing room is right over here. All of the stuff that you picked out on the website is waiting for you. You try it all on, you see what you like, what you don't like, and then you buy what you want and what you don't want and you leave. Okay. That would be fantastic. And and maybe someone to get us to the point where we're actually um doing something like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not investing, you need to get on it, protect your future, raise some capital, raise some income, download the Robinhood app. They'll give you a free stock. I get one and keep coming back to us for your stock information.